In this video, I'll be going over the top seven best super and sports cars in GTA Online. This is a 2018 updated list that will hopefully help you guys out if you're looking for the best vehicles. Now I'll be starting at the bottom of the list, working our way to the number one vehicle. But at number seven, we have the best four door sports vehicle. Now this was a tough decision for me between two vehicles, the Coil Raiden and the Pifster Neon. The Coil Raiden is an electric car that has four doors and it is insanely quick and it handles really good. Comparing it to the Pifster Neon, they are almost identical. They have very similar price tags they have very similar performance stats, and they are both electric four-door sports vehicles. But ultimately, I had to give this one to the Pipster Neon solely because of the looks. Now, I know looks are subjective, but the Pipster Neon may be the best-looking car in GTA Online. And even though the Coil Raiden and the Neon have similar stats and are overall the same, Personally, I just have more fun driving around the Pipster Neon. When it comes to four-door vehicles, for me, you want to find something that is fun to drive because normally you will have some other passengers like your friends in your car. And you want to get around quick. You want to have fun drifting and sliding around, and the Pipster Neon does all of that. So if you're looking for a four-door car, the best one in the game, in my opinion, the Pipster Neon. Number six, we have the Nero Custom. This is hands down the best supercar for customization. It is a Benny's car. It's one of the last Benny's cars because Rockstar has not added any new ones. And that means it is loaded with customization. There is so many things you can change and make to look like you want it. But in addition to that customization, this vehicle, the Nero Custom, has one of the fastest top speeds in the game. And that actually makes it perfect for stunt racing. Not sure how many people still race or stunt race, but if you do still do that sort of stuff, the Nero Custom is amazing for those long stretches of road. Its handling is decent. It's nothing great, but it's also not bad. And the acceleration is similar. But the reason you would want to buy the Nero Custom is for that insane top speed and the insane customization. Next at number five, we have the Overflawed Autark. This is one of the new Doomsday vehicles and I'm putting it on the list for two reasons. Number one, it is one of the most unique looking supercars in the game. It's almost the successor to the RE7B in that this vehicle is, it looks more like a racing car instead of an actual supercar. And I think actually because of that, the other reason why I'm putting the car on this list, it has some of the best traction and braking out of any supercar. This thing sticks to the ground. And because of that, you will rarely lose control of this car when you are turning it and going through corners. Now that is somewhat of a negative though, because sometimes in free roam especially, you just wanna have some fun, slide around and see if you can drift perhaps. This is not that car. Also, it actually has some pretty good acceleration. So combining the acceleration with the traction, that makes for a really good racing car and also a car you can use fairly decently in the city. Moving us into number four, we have the Cyclone. I'm putting this on the list because it is one of the most unique vehicles in the game. It is an electric supercar. And what that means is the acceleration is off the charts. The only other vehicles that accelerate faster are the rocket vehicles. And obviously that's because they have a rocket engine in them. The Cyclone may be one of my favorite cars to drive around in the city. It's one of my favorite escape cars, if not the best escape car for free roam use. And the reason is because that acceleration, no one can catch up to you if you're constantly turning and going through corners. Now, yes, on a straightaway or if you're up in the north of the map, it's not gonna do as good. But if you're down in the city, let's say you have a bounty on you, you have a bunch of people coming after you, assuming they don't try and blow you up with a jet or something, you should, if you're a good enough driver, be able to escape them. And it's kind of fun to see people try and catch up with this vehicle if you're constantly going through corners because that acceleration, it's just, 
it's so quick you just pull away from them as soon as that kicks in and in my opinion it doesn't look too bad it kind of looks nice it's got some decent liveries so overall if you're looking for a really fun escape vehicle the cyclone is one of the best now the top three coming in at number three the wagner this one and the number one vehicle was actually kind of tough to decide which one was best and honestly i think both of them could be swapped out for one another but the wagner this is one of the best all-around vehicles in the game not only does it have great handling and acceleration but it has really good top speed you'll see in the gameplay this thing just whips around corners and it's actually a lot of fun to drive around because of that and also because of that it is one of the best if not the best supercars for racing the top speed is just a little bit below that Nero custom i showed you guys earlier and the handling i think is a good blend between the autark and some of the other supercars the wagner has good traction but not great like the autark and i think that's actually more fun because sometimes you will slide around now that can be annoying if you're trying to be super serious and all that but overall the wagner is just one of the best supercars in the game and I haven't talked about price tags too much, but compared to the number one car, it's actually a little bit cheaper. So that may also play into if you want to buy it or not. But the Wagner, you will not go wrong if you purchase it. Now at number two, we have a sports car. This is a good old Rockstar Logic for you, but the Pariah. The Pariah is a sports car that should be a supercar. This thing beats almost all supercars in racing, in top speed. I thought Rockstar would patch this or fix it, but it looks like they're not going to, so we're just going to have to deal with the Pariah completely breaking the sports class. If you even want to compete in a race, you need this car. If you want to have some fun in free roam with a sports car, then this is the best one to do it in. It's got some of the best acceleration, some of the best handling, and the best top speed out of the sports cars. It, I really don't know what Rockstar were thinking when they did this. The one negative that I have personally with this car is I don't really like the looks of it. But if you can get past the looks, this is a must own if you want to even think about doing anything really in sports vehicles. And one thing to note if you're watching this video when it goes live up until Monday, I believe the Ocelot Pariah and then the number one car, the XA21, both are 30% off. So you can get them for a little cheaper. But moving into number one, we have the Ocelot XA21. Personally, this is my favorite supercar in the game. But like I said, it is tough to, to decide between this one and the Wagner. Ultimately, I put this one at number one because I like the looks of it and the customization a lot more. But both are fantastic vehicles. Now, the XA21, why is it so good? It's probably the best all-around vehicle. It's got really good acceleration, really good top speed, really good handling, really good customization, really good engine sounds, really good looks. It's just a really, really good vehicle. And one thing actually that you may not think about, but if someone's trying to shoot you, it's got a pretty small rear window. So that means it's harder for either other players or NPCs to shoot you from the back. So that's another benefit in free roam. But the XA21 is just so much fun. It's not as customizable as the Nero Custom because it's not a Benny's vehicle, but it's just one step below. It's got an insane amount of customization. So you can make this vehicle look how you want it and you can stand out, you can be different. I love that about vehicles in this game. And that engine sound, it's such a small thing, but when you're driving these vehicles around, most of the time, most of them sound the same. So you don't ever notice it. But when you drive the XA21, you notice that different and really great engine sound and that just makes me love this car even more but unfortunately like i said and this is i guess probably one of the only cons to it the price tag it is it's pretty expensive and when you do all this customization it gets pretty expensive so just know that but if you can get past that this may be the number one super car in the game but that is my list. That is the top seven best super and sports cars in GTA Online 2018 updated. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What is your favorite super and sports vehicle? 
please drop the video a like if you did enjoy and found this video helpful subscribe for more awesome gta content and as always i will see you guys in the next one